Jess Ryan's song, How Would You Know, has been the focus of a major fundraising campaign for Children First. What if I said that I'm just fine? It's a song composed from her own horrendous experience of being abused by a large number of men during her childhood and being ignored by her parents, which led to drinking, drug taking and self-harming. It's her way of repaying the charity which stood by her and helped her rebuild her life. 22-year-old Jess bravely told her story to the nation in December last year. Watched me grow, watched me struggle. And you watched me try, watched me crawl. You always feel like things are going to be much worse if you say something. Which, if I'm honest, at that particular moment in time when you do, they do feel a lot worse because the truth hurts. It hurts other people around, family, friends, um, and it can turn things on its head. It would have been easier for her to have remained anonymous, but she felt not being seen would lessen the impact of her message. For things to ever change or to move forward, you have to get the truth out. And and part of the reason that I, um, or the reason why I allowed my anonymity to be removed was to, to show that it's true. When you say to someone, you don't have to feel ashamed, you don't have to feel guilty, it was at Children First Kalen base on the Black Isle that Jess from Inverness spent many hours receiving the support she needed to turn her life around. The centre celebrating its 25th anniversary, but as with many other charities, times are tough. It's incredibly shocking. Uh, the thought that there are kids in this area, in the Highland, that could potentially have access to Kalen because they're within a certain, a certain catchment area and they don't because of funding or, or whatever reason. It, it, it's just so wrong, you know, it, it, should be, it should be accessible and so that's why I want to do as much fundraising as possible to, to make it possible for these children to go there as well and get the help that they need. Our campaign, which is See, Hear, Speak and Act on Sexual Abuse, which Jess has supported um, and her involvement has made a huge difference. It puts a a real a, a personal face onto that that says sexual abuse is horrendous, abuse is horrendous, but you can come through the other end, you can have a future. Now a mum herself, Jess says her life is indeed proof that things can change. It's generally <laughs> generally pretty good. It's, uh, it's really busy because I've got a little boy who's nearly two, so keeps me on my toes, <laughs> keeps me in housework. <laughs> But uh, on the whole, it's really good and I've got a lot of support from family and friends and, uh, and from the church that I go to, we just, you know, they're just really, really are there for me and, and make sure that, um, that I'm still doing all right. <laughs>